Oh my gosh, back hometown. Got to make the most of the night before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's a great time. It's a lot of fun to be back here and see everyone that you went to high school with and catch everyone up on your life. Tonight, Pittsburghers who are back in town for the holiday are reconnecting with friends and hitting the bars. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving is known as one of the biggest nights out of the year. Alexandra Todd is live in Lawrenceville, bound to be a busy spot tonight. Alexandra, how's it going? It's going pretty well. The holiday spirit is here in Lawrenceville and throughout the city of Pittsburgh. I spoke with a few Pittsburghers about why tonight is so special to go out right before the holiday. It's nice to see the locals out and, uh, you know, people enjoying the good vibes, the holiday spirit. What has now been named Blackout Wednesday, the night before Thanksgiving, has become a sort of holiday in itself. Pittsburghers say it's a great way to see old friends and those from out of town come in to see family. You know, everyone's back in town. Everyone's back with their college friends, their high school friends, yeah. and just back doing what we used to do years ago. Saying stress plays a big factor in wanting to go out and let off some steam. I definitely stress, I mean, with the economy and, you know, it's tense times now. Um, and a lot of people have to go back to work on Black Friday, myself included. Especially when you have out-of-town family coming back in, yeah, to your hometown. So, yeah, it's an easy, easy thing to do. PennDOT shared earlier today that tonight kicks off what they call the holiday season impaired driving campaign, which runs until January 2nd. Yeah, and PennDOT used an agency that gave us the data that this time last year of this night up until that time of the 2nd of January, 1,396 crashes happened. So just make sure the lesson of tonight and throughout the holiday season is make sure you plan a sober drive home and uh, just stay safe this holiday season. So here in Lawrenceville, Alexander Todd, KDK TV News.